come and join us today at Legoland Florida Hotel. There are so many fun themes here. We can't wait to show all of them to you and we just completed the last one we needed. We do have a separate video on all the perks and amenities at the hotel, the pool, all the entertainment, the master building class, and all the food options, so I will link that down below. So let's go back in time. This was the very first thing that we had, the pirate theme. This is actually in the Pirate Island Hotel, which is connected to the main hotel, and the main hotel has a pirate theme too. Honestly, Legoland does a great job with the theming. I love how the walls are just covered with all sorts of characters and decorations. The bed, the pillows, curtains, even the carpets. We had a first view of the water and the pirate pool. And I'll go over some of the amenities in a bit. All the amenities and the rooms were the same. This is the little scavenger hunt that they had. But this one did have a voice box. And I like how in the pirate room there is a building station. You can build a lot on the walls or on that table next to the TV. It's still one of our favorite themes and the hotel is newer so these are newer rooms too. And this was the second stay from our time. Everything was the same. It was just a little bit of a mirrored room, a little backwards, but still the same size and setup. The kids love the bunk bed area, one of their favorite spots, and it does come out with a pull out if you have three kiddos. Next up, we are going to do the Lego Friends room. This one was a fun one, especially if you love Lego Friends. It is in the more original style versus when the Lego Friends weekends were going. They had a different version of the characters, but still a fun room with lots of of butterflies and flowers very girly of course instead of the building station they did have this puzzle underneath the TV lots of pink and lots of purple it was a little bit more of a simple style but still really cute and I liked the wall against this main bed here with the horse kind of like Mia's riding adventure in the park We've done two years of the Lego Friends weekends, and I do hope they bring them back. Maybe they'll bring some of the characters back for summer, but we really love seeing them. We had a decent pool view this time, and of course, we bring lots of waters to put in those refrigerators for the park. They had some horseshoes and some ribbons, butterflies all over the room. So if you are a Lego Friends fan, this is definitely a great theme to stay at. And if your kiddos are 48 inches, they'll be able to go on the Mia's Riding Adventure ride, which is super fun. But they have Heart Lake City, which is nice to explore there too at Legoland. Also I noticed on the site sometimes it says there's a themed room and then a fully themed room so it seems like there's two different versions. In this kingdom's room I believe it was just a themed room versus a fully themed room just to give you an idea because with pirates it was plastered all over the walls especially over by the master bed but this one it was more of a plain background. The kingdom's room was still fun personally it was probably my least favorite if I had to pick between all of them. I do love, of course, the Merlin, the wizard, but it'd be really cool if it had more of a theme with the dragons too, especially the dragon coaster being in the Lego kingdoms. We didn't have a say specifically on it being themed or fully themed. We were blessed enough to be hosted by Legoland, so I want to make that clear. We still loved our stays and loved all the rooms, but just pointing out that this room especially was a little bit less themed than some of the other rooms we stayed at. Still, the kids absolutely love staying here. There is so much to do at the hotel. They have all sorts of entertainment on the main hotel and the Pirate Island Hotel. And if there isn't a building station in the room, they do provide a box of Legos. This one had another puzzle. And of course, they all have the scavenger hunts with goodies inside when you complete it. If you stayed in any of the rooms, themed or fully themed, please let us know your thoughts and what you prefer. I love them all because they look so fun in real life. Next up was the adventure room. I really did like this one. It had the Egyptian pharaoh theme to it and some spiders, which I'm sorry if you do have a phobia of that. They have some adventurers, pyramids. I liked the canopy above the bed too. Jack liked the monkey and the bathroom. But I think the adventure room was one of my top favorites. I really just like the style. I love Egyptian themed hieroglyphics. And then of course my husband loves Indiana Jones and that's as close as it's gonna get with this one. We had a nice view of the lake, which they do boat tours as well. You can pay extra for, and they do have mini golf down there too. The walls, of course, have decals all over them, but I like when we find actual Lego statues around the room. And each room has two TVs, the bigger TV for the adult area and the smaller TV in the kids section. They even have a Lego movie channel, which we like playing. It rotates between the Lego movies and the Lego Batman movie. With so many fun themes, it really is hard to choose a favorite. And changing themes makes it fun to do the scavenger hunt because you have to look for different clues in each room. 
I think this is my second favorite, which is Ninjago. Ninjago has a whole land in the Legoland Park. Of course, they have the shows, but we actually love the movie itself. But I really liked the poster of all the ninjas and Master Wu together. I love the red all over the room, reds and yellows and oranges. It was just a nice color tone. If you or any of your family members watch Ninjago, the show or the movies, you definitely have to book this one. Try to see if there's any Ninjago characters at the park. They used to have Ninjago weekends, but it did not return this year, so I really hope they bring it back next year. I love the Lego builds in this one. They had a dragon egg and a little dragon on top of the scavenger hunt area. And this one had a building station, which I really like because it gives the kids something to do when you get back from the park. So after you find all the clues, then you open it up and then usually you get juice boxes, a magazine, and minifigures inside. And if you don't like the minifigure, you can trade it inside the park. But honestly, I would bring extra minifigures with you so that way you can look at each of the shops and do some fun minifigure trading. That's one of our favorite things to do at the park besides the rides and the characters. Such a really cool room. Let us know what you think. Now saving the best for last, my personal favorite is the Lego Movie Room. Vanessa loves the Duplos. She loves the villains in Lego Movie and the second one, so she absolutely loved this room, and I did too, because I love all the characters from both films. The Unikitty bathroom is probably my favorite bathroom. It was so colorful and a huge Duplo on the shower curtain. And then you had a bunch of the characters from the Lego Movie 2, which I'll go over in a second, but I just loved how colorful this room was. And it seemed like there was a lot more detail to it. I love the signs, especially if you watch the first two movies, you'll kind of get some of the jokes, a little Lego house picture. They had the bulletin board with the show, Honey, Where Are My Pants? And then even the books that Emmett reads on how to always be happy. So personally, that was why I loved it so much, just because I love the movies. Even that window lights up and you can see kind of like the catastrophe that the Duplos do. Pretty much all the carpets in the rooms are themed differently. This one looked like Legos and then they had the scavenger hunt with the big Duplo, Rex Danger Vest on the wall with his raptors. They had Benny, Sweet Mayhem, a star kind of stuck in the wall, and they had Queen Whatever, which was the villain from the second film. There is a pullout on all the rooms of the beds. This one has the building station, of course, which I liked, but I just love the recognizable characters. Some of the other characters in the other rooms, they weren't as, I guess, popular, but they were still fun too. So you'll have to let us know which one is your favorite. Have you stayed at the hotel yet? Take advantage of all the hotel amenities. Legoland just seems a lot more relaxed relaxed than some of the other parks. We never feel stressed out. The lines usually aren't bad at all, so you can get a lot done in one day. And once the park closes, you can have fun at the hotel, building classes, they have different games. Vanessa actually won a little Lego pack from playing Lego Bingo. They have a dance party usually at 8.30 and at 9 o'clock the pool closes, so you have several hours after the park closes to enjoy things. Each room has some drawers, some storage, ironing board, iron, hair dryer, soap, and shampoo. They have a coffee maker, a telephone. If you need to reach somebody, you can even text the front desk if you need something. This last visit, instead of minifigures, we got these little packs, which they like too. You can build anything you want. They give you pods with the Keurig machine, a couple of waters, and you have a mini refrigerator in all the rooms. I believe all of them have the plug-ins with the USB ports too. They all have some extra sheets, a pillow, and a blanket, and then of course a safe if you want to put something in there just for some extra security. On Legoland's site, you can download the hotel entertainment guide. Both hotels that connect have different activities going on in the day. You can meet lots of different characters. A creative workshop, which is a building class with a master builder from Legoland. I would sign up within the two weeks mark just to make sure you get in. Take advantage of the pool. My kids absolutely love swimming there and going down the slide. And then in the morning, you have a family style skillet. You can get as much as you want to eat. It's all included and free. You just have to leave a tip for your waitress or waiter. I hope this video helps you make the best decision on the theme that you want for the Legoland Hotel in Florida. And make sure to check out our Legoland playlist for all the must-dos, tips and tricks, the tour of the water park, Peppa Pig theme park, all the rides, all the food, and more. We've gone to Legoland a bunch and we absolutely love it there. And a big thank you to Maddie and Lachey for helping support our channel. People like you help us to keep going and doing what we love. Yeah, yeah.
like and subscribe for more videos like and subscribe. Click either of these videos, the top one being all the hotel perks I briefly mentioned but go into more detail about, and the bottom one being the must-dos while you're at the Legoland Florida theme park. And thank you so much for watching.